Okay, so here I have uh, Frasan, uh, Eloasa Classic Definitive Edition uh, being played on Steam. Now, as I mentioned uh, in the beginning of this title card here, um, this is going to be a very controversial game. Now, I'm not going to uh, go over um, the political side of things, the historical side of things. I am strictly covering this game as as a, a game itself, as in what I think of, of how it plays and, and the mechanics and such. Not at all um, as far as the the other stuff. So, um, as a game, the game plays really, really surprisingly well, honestly speaking. Um, and that's that's not a it's not a diss on on the developer by any means. Um, and I please uh, hope he doesn't take it that way. But uh, this is a very well done. Uh, stealth-like third-person shooter that plays very similar to like games like uh, Gears of War. Um, uh, another game that comes to mind would be uh, Killzone Liberation, Splinter Cell, games like that. That's kind of what this game reminds me of. Um, and again, it plays very, very well um, as a stealth third-person shooter. So you have objectives, and that's not one of the objectives, is just not get caught. Yeah, let's see if I actually... Oh, maybe. But graphically, the game looks amazing. Um, I love the way the game looks. Um, I like the way the game plays. Oh, man, I just died. So, find safe work explosives, destroy missile launchers, destroy security cameras, steal your own prototype, and um, kill the soldiers. Um, again, I'm not I'm, I'm not covering this game uh, for the political side of things. Um, I'm not a political person. I don't I don't care um, for all that stuff. Um, I understand there's going to be people that um, you know, may not um, may not like them covering this game, may not um, agree with me covering this game, but you know what? Um, I'm covering this as a game. Uh, strictly as a game. And not what uh, not the subject matter of the game. Now, does the subject matter of the game has have a significance? Yes, it does. I'm not discounting that. Um, this does tell a, another side of uh, of a political story, um, but again, I'm not going to get into all that. If you'd like to, you you definitely can. Um, you know, dive into that, and if you want to see the side of the, of, of of it, you want to explore it. Um, this is one medium which to do that. Um, it does do a good job of. Of telling that side of things from what I've discussed with the developer slash publisher, um, and from what I've seen in the gameplay, uh, this game does good do, does do a good job of, of telling that, that that side of how of how uh, how things played out. But um, but yeah, you have several missions you can play. Uh, as you saw there at the beginning, um, right now this is a, a stealth element here, just getting through the the uh, compound here without getting caught. Uh, really nice use of, of stealth elements. And I'm just going to run for it. Oh, come on. How uh, many bullets? I am completely out of bullets. And it looks like I am... I'm not dead yet. Okay, that's good. Okay, I'm not used to playing this game with the controller. There we go. Now we got some some ammo. So yeah, 
pretty cool uh, third-person shooter. Um, again, I'm not I'm not diving into the political side of things. There is that element to it, uh, for sure. I'm not discounting that at all. Um, but as a game, it, it's 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 a good game. It's it's a good game. There's a lot of a lot of detail that went into this game. A lot of depth, um, and just overall a really decent experience for a third-person shooter. Um, I would thank the developer slash publisher for the opportunity. Um, and I would thank you for watching. Thank you for shopping. As always, until next time, take care and happy gaming. Alrighty, so here we have uh, for song Remake. Um, I'm going to include this in the uh, for song Classic review. So this is a remake of the Classic version. Um, obviously, definitely looks better than the Classic. Uh, by a long shot, you can play it in third person or first person, uh, if you wish. Um, there are two playable missions right now. This is the second mission. Um, now, as I said before, um, I'm not playing this for uh, the political side of things, though there is definitely a, a political side of this game. Um, there's a different... Uh, this game tells a different side of political story, and it does so very well. Um, I will give it that. Now, do I follow that you know, political side of this? No, I don't. Um, I tend to stay out of politics, and I'm not going to start now uh, getting into it. But as a game, as a first person shooter, this game plays very, very well. It's beautiful. Um, there's been a lot of work, a lot of time that's gone into this game. This game is a very well done game and plays very smoothly. This is being played on Steam. This game is available on Steam um, along with the uh, classic version. Um, this game is also, as the classic version, I believe, is the one that's also available through or on uh, PS3 and. Uh, Xbox 360 has um, homebrew titles, so or indie titles, if you will. Uh, so if you want to pick them up for those platforms, you can. That there is an option. This game clearly is still in development. Um, as you can see, running isn't you know, isn't, isn't all that fleshed out. Um, the enemy isn't all that smart. But again, this game is a work in progress. Um, and it's definitely, a, I think, a step above the classic release, for sure. It just looks that much better. It plays really nicely. Oh, I got him. So yeah, each each game, just like their, each mission, does have its objectives. I mean, I can I can just walk up to this guy. Then he starts. Then he starts shooting me. I, of course, I died. But uh, but yeah, this has been a look at uh, uh, two good games for them being games. Um, great presentation, great gameplay, fun gameplay. They look beautiful. They play great. Um, so if you want to have these games, just to dive into that side of of, of this story. Uh, you can grab these games for that if you want great games and play really great as both third person and first person games in one cohesive package you can pick this up and experience two amazing games um, by a very talented uh, developer slash publisher um, and I want to thank you for watching I want to thank them for the opportunity and as always until next time take care and happy gaming